what is up y'all and welcome back to my channel my name is patty for those of you who do not know and we're getting into another vlog this is actually going to be like a birthday prep and pack vlog <laughs> um and actually by the time you're seeing this i'll actually be on my little birthday trip so if you're following me on the socials you'll see everything i'm doing in real time um so this week the goal is to rest <laughs> to pack um there's a couple of like reflection activities I really want to do to bring in my birthday. Um, but today we're going to the streets. You know, it's fine. It's Tuesday. It's going up on Tuesday. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And, then, and then we're going to sit down. I think. That's the goal. <laughs> um, Y'all, I have hurt myself. Yeah, so see what had happened was... I don't even remember what I was doing exactly when I accidentally bit this nail back and it's like halfway lifted. I have not done that in a really long time. And then I did it again today thinking I was probably overcompensating with using this hand so much. Um, my nails are, are old. <laughs> I was pushing the limits because I actually had a nail appointment on Friday. However, uh, my nail tech had some family emergency going on um so she had to reschedule me for next wednesday which is fine which is fine it's fine um this is why i always say in all of my like vacation birthday prep videos to do not wait to the last minute to schedule your maintenance because things like this happen <laughs> and had i been leaving the next day your girl would have been hit <laughs> and having to try out a new nail tech and i would have been so so mad so thankful for that i'm about to get some like um nail glue this one's still a little tender this one doesn't really hurt that bad um i was gonna try to just pop the whole acrylic off but baby that thing is attached at the top since it's firmly attached at the top <laughs> so if i get some nail glue hopefully that'll hold um but if it like irritates me again i think this weekend i'll just go to a shop and have them soak it off and next week i'll be ready for my new set so that's that. Today we are going to Crave. I haven't been to Crave since, actually since I've lived here. Um, <laughs> I went, I think it was the last year when I came to visit and I went some years ago before that. So I'm excited to go. It's a very cute dessert bar. They got hookah. Um, they do have food as well, good cocktails. And it's really, really cute. <laughs> And on the weekends or special holidays, you definitely want to make a reservation in advance. <laughs> um, I went, I think, for Valentine's Day one year, and it was, like, packed. So, yeah, that should be a good time. Oh, and also, I got uh, the clothes that I've ordered for the birthday trip. So, we'll do a little haul. I ordered from Pretty Little Thing. Their shape collection holds me down. And I also ordered from somewhere new called Sassy. Sassy Two Closets. Sassy something. I have everything linked on the screen and also down below um, in the description box. So, yeah. Actually, let's go do that. Let's go try on some clothes. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, this is... The first outfit I think I'm going to wear, as you can see, is super, super long. Y'all know your girl is short. I'm definitely vertically challenged. Um, but this is what I'm planning to wear uh, the first day on Friday to um, brunch when we get there. Only thing is, like, the crotch is kind of short, which I typically don't expect with outfits like this because y'all know I'm short, like, if you are a tall girl or a normal size, <laughs> you have a regular size torso, then how's this going to fit? And I feel like when I put on um, my strapless bra, it is like a push-up or whatever. So I feel like I'm not going to have a lot of room to cover the bra. It's going to be a lot of tillage, <laughs> if you will, hanging out because there's not a lot of fabric to grab from. Um the material is, I'm not gonna hold you, it's a little um it's a little cheek feeling. It's feeling kind of like Shein material, like some of the cheap Shein material, but this wasn't Shein prices, so let's see the other outfit I ordered from them. This is the stuff I ordered from 
sassy. I have it like on the screen. And I did the vertical video because I had to stand just way too far back and y'all was not gonna be able to hear me. But this is it. And it also looks a little bit more orangey than brown. But yeah, let's see the other fit. So y'all, I am gonna hold you. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> I am completely obsessed with this. Honestly. Oh, so I know they have dupes of this on Shein, but I was just so afraid that the quality wasn't going to hit. I accidentally ordered this in a medium because I was like, it's oversized. But honestly, y'all, I was thinking about wearing this originally. We were going to do um, the T-Bus tour. But the T-Bus tour was taxing with the taxes. Like the total for six people just for the basic option was like 400, I think, a little over $400. With all the taxes and fees, it became like 660. Oh, or almost $200 in taxes. I was like, no. So Saturday we're doing a cocktail class after the spa. And I was thinking about wearing this but part of me feels like I should be wearing this to brunch on Friday <laughs> and wear the um, leopard to the cocktail class. Cause this is giving boom, boom, boom. And where we're going has like this archway for brunch. And I feel like this would be so freaking cute. This is comfortable. Um, it's definitely, I feel like an outfit for Keep with somebody pregnant, keep when you bloated and you're not trying to, you know, show everything. But I, can you see the picture? Like, child, oh, I love it. It is so, it's fruity, right? It's very fruity, but I, I'm going to check the weather and that's probably going to, what's going to be the deciding factor when I wear this, but y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I had to move to the bathroom because I finished recording these outfit changes late. But y'all, I'm obsessed with this dress. The back is a little see-through, you know, just be a little careful there. But I absolutely love it. Very, very cute. Y'all, this next dress, I was going for the mummy vibe. That's what I call it. <laughs> I ain't got enough titties for it, okay? I wasn't blessed with enough boobs to make this look nice. And I probably could have sized down, but it's just not giving it's my birthday. Like, it does nothing for the shape on me personally at all. Now, this next day, y'all, she a little spicy. Okay, she a little fancy. She a little sexy. So, I was trying to figure out how to wear this two-piece set because of course I want to wear some shapewear right but I don't have like just bottom shapewear so I try to pull it up to try to make it look like it's one piece so I could wear my shapewear and you know or whatever so I wasn't really liking something about it so I decided to Make it a little bit more sexy. <laughs> and when I pushed it up like this and moved some of the fabric over my stomach, I was like, oh, this is a little vibe. <laughs> this is definitely a keeper. Now, this next set, y'all, I don't know what happened. Okay. Once I took it off, I saw that they accidentally gave me the wrong size skirt. I ordered a 12 and they gave me a 16. Um, the top is a size 10 because y'all know I got no boobs. Um, so I'm a little bigger on the bottom. But y'all, this I y'all, I had to go on my phone and try to look at the picture. I was like, do I have this thing on correctly? Like, what in the what is going on? Um, I think the top is cute, but I just, yeah, this. I just, look how big it is. It's going back. It's going back. I'm going to get my coins back. <laughs> so, no. Now, this one. Hey, sexy ladies. This one right here, y'all. I, mm, she's a contender, okay? She is a contender for the birthday dress. I'm really, really liking the color. I like the little mummy vibe, as I call it. All the little details. This is when I really start feeling it. It was like, yeah. Yeah, this is the one. <laughs> this is definitely going to be my birthday dress. Um, the only thing is it's a little big. 
I had to see if I could dance in it. Um, a little big in the sense that it feels like I've already had it on for a few hours. So I know once I do have it on, it's going to be a little too big. So I'm going to try and size down. So per usual, you know, your girl is late. Um, so things went down and I'm a little stressed and upset, but it's okay. We just, we got to just roll with what life gives us. So this is what I'm wearing. It's a long um, shirt. I got shorts under it. Um, so I don't look too much like a hoochie hoochie. But yeah, I'm just ready to head out. All right, y'all. I just parked. It's raining. Do I have an umbrella? No. Do I have my brush? No. Do I like a little hoochie? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm trying to fix my energy. So I'm about to give myself a little pep talk. It's Keisha's birthday, man. It's Keisha's birthday. It's about her. It's her day. Don't bring none of this doom and gloom. Your life will be your life after. And you can go home and cry. But today and right now, this is about Keisha. So get happy. Be energetic. Give her the smiles. And we can cry when we get home later. Because it's okay. Because sometimes all you need to do is get a good cry. It's fine. We're going to have fun. We're going to be good energy. And we're going to crack jokes about ourselves looking like a hoochie. On a Tuesday. So, let's go do this. So y'all, it's the next day and um, Crave is really, really cute. It's a really, really cute vibe. Um, of course, it's, you know, slower on a weekday, but on a weekend, um, they were saying they don't do reservations anymore. You just have to like join the wait list. So yeah, check it out. It's definitely like way more packed on the weekends. The drinks were really, really good. We had a really, really great server. Um, I actually kind of said that I didn't get her name. I've been trying to start asking people's names because... Um, sometimes you want to go, you want to request somebody, <laughs> and, you know, that can really change like your entire experience. Um, and she was wonderful. She made the hookah good. She was really, really patient because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to drink. Um, and yeah, it was a good time. Definitely needed. Um, next time I go, I'll try to get better footage. Y'all know I wasn't. I was having a day yesterday. Not even really a, just a day yesterday. Life life got them hands right now. Life got them hands. And um, <laughs> I feel like my stance is good, but but Shawty getting some hits off, okay? She hit me with a pow, 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 pow. And I'm just like, and they landed, y'all. I ain't even dodging like I normally do. So, yeah, such is life, right? Got your good days, got your bad days. You be up sometimes, down others. That's just what it is. So, um, actually, what we're going to be doing this weekend is what I really, really need. Um, I'm staring at my lights because <laughs> we're getting the remnants of the hurricane that's currently is touch bases in Florida, I think, early, early this morning. It's evening time here now, but my lights are flickering. And, um... I should charge my devices just in case. <laughs> so I'm excited to like relax some this weekend. I'm excited to make my vision board, um, to go to the store and get me a little wig, a little situation. That should be fun to take y'all along with that. Um, and whatever I get into this weekend, I do think I am going to step out for a little bit. Um, and do a little something. So stay tuned for that. Um, and right now, um, y'all work has also been like, it's ramped up and, um, yeah, that's how I feel. Oh, that is how I am feeling y'all. I'm like trying to pick up my energy and like get myself back together. But yo, my sister really, really helped me. She always really helps me. I'm talking to her today about all the things, all the shenanigans and whatnot, and how I'm feeling. So, <laughs> because I did not get up early to work out, I did not wash my hind pots all day. <laughs> so, I'm going to take a shower, and then we're going to cook, y'all. One of the things I'm really, really excited about, like, this fall and this winter is to get into cooking, because 
honestly cute and buck with you i really don't like it i don't like it sometimes i be feeling like a little disgrace to my race and my gender but like i don't i don't like it like it don't make my heart sing it don't make me excited um <laughs> however it is it's necessary you need to do it sometimes <laughs> So I'm excited um, this fall and this winter, I want to start trying like a new recipe, at least one new recipe each week. Um, but today we're just about to do something basic that I already know how to do. It's really good, really fast. I don't, because I don't like to cook. I ain't trying to be in the kitchen for two hours, okay? I just, especially right now, the way I'm feeling emotionally, spiritually, and physically, it's a nah, bruh. So... Yeah, I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna do a first little cooking montage. I'm really excited. Like, I'm a little hype to, you know, film it or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, and then I'll catch up with y'all because some of the shoes I've ordered has come in and I wanna show y'all what they looking like. Hey y'all, so it is Friday. It's Friday. We are kicking off the long weekend for Labor Day weekend and I cannot believe I'm gonna be in the crib. <laughs> My boss was actually like, you're really not doing anything this weekend? I'm saying, nah. <laughs> so uh, she was sweet enough to let us off early today. Um, I'm like, wow, I don't even... I don't even know what to do with myself, for real, for real. So, um, I went to Hot Works this morning. Um, I really, really love it. I have been loving Hot Works. If you don't know, it's like a um, a red light sauna. 
a workout. <laughs> so they have a variety of different classes. They have Pilates, yoga, ISO, which is like a combination of the Pilates and yoga. They have hot buns. They have um, cycling, they have rowing, they have weights, hit classes, whole host of classes. Um, it was really, really dope about it is you get that workout experience, but then you're still burning calories for like an hour after your workout. <laughs> so usually I do um, one day I go to the gym and I lift and then the next day I go to hot works um, and I really really like the Pilates classes especially after lifting you know your body just be so tight and sore I feel like I'm like loving on my muscles and getting those good stretches out um, and y'all know Pilates if you haven't tried it baby it's a lot of core okay <laughs> a lot of core a lot of core so that was good and after I do that on those days I go to my gym and I do like a 45 minute Peloton walking class which is not I don't even know why they call it a walking class because you because I mean you're walking but like the inclines the inclines the inclines my favorite instructor is uh, Kirsten and bruh today she had us up like on the 10th level 10 incline one day she went to 12. I said, you do know this is your walking class and not the hiking class. Let's simmer it down, okay? And light your booty cheeks. Ugh. So I'm trying to kind of figure out the schedule for this weekend. I do want to take like a bath tonight. Um, and I'm going to include some footage of it that I did a while back when I was attempting to do a reset uh, vlog. But um, it didn't really go down that way. <laughs> so if you see the different nails, that's why. But it's the exact same you know things I'm gonna be using for it but I think I have like a plan for this weekend so tomorrow we're gonna pack I'm gonna lay out the outfits and accessories and shoes and stuff so y'all can see that and then um, I think I'm gonna try to do a little bit of content of that as well and then rest <laughs> and start drafting out this stuff for my vision board so what I really really like to do when I do my vision board is I like to um, Go ahead and write it out. Like I like to type it out or handwrite it out. My goals. Um, and I was actually sharing with my boss that that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. And she said, remember to think big. And I definitely had a moment of like almost getting emotional because I feel like although I'm very happy with this past year of my life, I feel like I've started to put a lid on my dreams and my goals. And um, we ain't finna be doing it because <laughs> we serve a big guy, big G. So that and then Sunday, I think we are going to step outside a little bit. I want to go and get me a little wig, honey, for my birthday. And I kind of want to go check out the new Equalizer movie. So that might be my little self date. And yeah, like I'm really about to rest, binge watch some TV. I might am going to be cooking all weekend. So. I ain't about to boy out of death with cooking and stuff, but I might do one more little montage. Um, yeah, y'all, we about to rest. Um, and I really, when I actually do the vision board, I'm going to go out Sunday while we're already outside at the church and going to get the vision board. Um, I just want to kind of play worship music and put it together. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling really like... I don't know, emotional, sentimental, like, I just, I'm happy to have this weekend to just rest and reflect um, on a lot of things. This past year, things I want, you know, in my life, and sometimes I feel like we spend a lot of time praying and wanting to talk to God, wanting to hear from God, but we don't really give ourselves the space and the time and the silence so that he can respond, you know, so... I'm I'm looking forward to being quiet this weekend. And I'm going to try my best to stay off of social media because, you know, it's real easy for me to get snatched into the streets. <laughs> yeah, so let's wrap up some laundry. Honesty hour, y'all. Your girl is feeling really tired and burnt out. So I said it's time for a bath. So you remember this Buff City Soap Epsom salt that I got? months ago it's finally time to put it to use and y'all i'm a heavy pourer okay i pour like i season food until the ancestors tell me to stop 
So I do a OD amount, way more than it's absolutely necessary. And I know this, it's my truth. So this is new y'all, I've never used this foaming bath prior to this. It's a sleep bath with melatonin by Dr. Teals and it also has um, some essential oils in it. Um, not enough oils, I highly, highly recommend you start adding your own bath oils because that won't enough for my dry skin. And next, it's time to light some candles, right? What is a bath without the fragrance? <laughs> Fragrances really, really help to relax me and I think I really need to get back into investing in candles because it's necessary. Next, what is a bath without wine, y'all? And yes, I poured very, very heavy because your girl needed it. Finally, I'm grabbing my bath pillow that I absolutely adore because it just helps add a little extra relaxation to my bath. And now it's time to unwind, cut on the playlist, and relax. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. Y'all wonder who it's from. It's Amazon. Y'all already know. Um, <laughs> I had to do a little boo boo song. <laughs> so y'all, the um, silver clutch I ordered to go with the birthday dress, the red dress has come. And y'all, I'm nervous because you know sometimes Amazon be a little catfish, and you know if you will. So y'all, I opened it up and I am very, very pleased. <laughs> As you will see, y'all, I was trying to like record a TikTok. This is why the roll is like so slow. But look how pretty she is. Y'all, I'm not a silver girly like whatsoever. It's a baby bust me down in the gold time and time again because that's my vibe, okay? But this silver is doing something to me. And I don't know if it was influenced by the whole renaissance movement. But it has like a magnetic opening and closing. So, which is perfect for the girls with the long nails. Uh, finally, they're starting to think about us. <laughs> uh, also, people who have arthritis, right? And it comes with a chain. So, you can switch. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. Um, y'all, I left. I just finished leaving church. Um... Y'all, yesterday was a really, really hard day. Um, this week, I feel like this vlog has been like so up and down and I'm so sorry. I feel like one of the things I feel like that's kind of like interesting about being a YouTuber, content creator is kind of learning the balance of what to share and what not to share. Like, I don't, I want my page to be real, right? Um, and I do go through things, but some of those things are private. Some of those things include other people. Um, and sometimes it's hard to share when you're in the thick of it, you know? Um, but I do have bad days. I do struggle, you know? Life is life is for everybody. Um, and this week has been a hard week. Like yesterday, y'all, I was on the couch just like crying on and off all day because earlier this week I was having my own personal things but then some things were going on and the people um the lives of people I really care about and y'all it took me out yesterday <laughs> so I was just praying like God just give me the strength to be able to stand in a gap for them because I love them so much you know and they're important people in my life and today church was just right on time like it's just like the days you feel like not going to church the most be the days that you really need to be up in there. Because <laughs> it's like God be trying to talk right to you. <laughs> and you'll miss what he's trying to tell you if you're not there. And um, I'm just really fortunate and blessed of how God has moved in my life. Um, I just... I guess we'll talk more later um, in the next vlog, but right now I'm getting ready to go in at home because I want to get the picture frame because I'm still determined to try to get this vision board done, y'all. Like, I didn't do it at the top of this year. We're going to do it for the birthday, okay, and make it an annual thing. So I'm about to go over here and try to do and only purchase what I said. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Y'all, I took a four. <laughs> I don't 
don't know who I thought I was, but clearly your girl was tired, okay? It had been an emotional weekend, so, gee, wow. I ain't never nap like that. That way I went to sleep, sleep. <laughs> so now um, I got the clothes laid out. I'm going to show y'all the accessories, shoes, and bags. I'm pairing with the outfits because I am planning to pack tonight. And the goal for tonight is to pack and to, um, I need to grab my bathing suit. Pack tonight and write out the list for the vision board and then tomorrow we will actually put it together and also get some food because i don't feel like cooking but let's go okay y'all so i have all my night outfits or possible night outfits um i have this set that y'all saw me in i'm not really sure about the nude per se i feel like it'll be cute depending on what hair i decide on but i'm not sure if i want to do the new bag with it or I have this really pretty clutch that also has this like, I hope it's picking up champagne-ish color. I really wish I had shoes this color. This would be like bomb. Um, but I don't think the new looks bad, honestly. It probably looks really cute together. Um, the, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wear this outfit the first night or if I'm going to do this one. I'm definitely loving, like the way the sunlight is looking right now, y'all. It's really showing the colors and I'm happy about that. I'm definitely going to wear it with Brandon. I got some dust on her um, with the green. So first night I'm trying to decide between this outfit or this outfit. I love this. I feel like it's really classy. Um, part of me wants to try to save this for like a birthday outing in Charlotte. But I don't know if that's really going to happen. So yeah. And then these shoes that already have the cushion support. Because baby these are... You walk in and you sit down. And that's the vibe for Friday, our first day there in New York. So I'm loving this outfit. And then as y'all saw, the clutch came. And y'all, I'm obsessed with this match with the shoes for the birthday dress. Like this is giving me all of the vibes. <laughs> so this is definitely how I am going to pack them. So we're good for the evening. Got all the, the evening fits together. Okay, y'all, so for my favorite fit, <laughs> I've decided on these really, really cute, pretty, um, comfortable <laughs> tie-up heels. Um, and then I'm going to color prop it with this blue bag. You've seen it before, even though it's, like, really, like, cardboard. Like, she ain't could have did a lot better than this. <laughs> but that's the vibe for this fit. So, weather permitting, I don't look crazy, but, you know. Okay, y'all, so the jumpsuit, I have decided. At first, I was like, I'm just going to be basic and just wear black, but I wanted to spice it up. So, I, God, I be having so many bags that I don't wear. I decided that this looked really cute with this, um, this green um, coach bag that I have. And, of course, I have some green sandals that you're not going to be able to see. But I think this would be a vibe with some all black heavy shades. So, y'all, we got our fits. Okay, y'all, something else I wanted to show y'all from Pretty Little Thing were these boots that I got for $10. Look how sexy these boots are. <laughs> these were $10, y'all. Like, what? Um, I'm sure they're probably gone, but I will have, like, links in the description box. And go check them out in a hurry and see what else they got that's on sale. Because, baby, these are bad. <laughs> Real bad. <laughs> Not gonna hold you. It's been a few days, and, um... I'm feeling very rough and scruffy and uh, really greatly looking forward to transforming and, 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 and looking like something. Because right now, anyway, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to complete my vision board uh, this weekend, but I did get all my goals for it now. I did find all the images. So when I get back from uh, my birthday trip Sunday, I just need to print it out and assemble it and cut and all that stuff. So. I'm glad I made it that far because I didn't even do that at the beginning of the year <laughs> like normal. Um, so I did get my nails done. I'll show y'all a close up and I'm getting ready to put together the little thank you bags for my friends. Um, and then yeah, it's going to be a wrap guys. <laughs> a wrap for this walk. It's a lot. This walk is a lot longer than I anticipated it being. So the next time you see me, it will begin with me outside. <laughs> and I'm greatly looking forward to it. Um, hopefully I have linked everything below. If I have not, just holla at your girl. And I'm about to show y'all these, um, these bags that I got. <laughs> 
So these are my nails and I'm obsessed. Like it's giving, it looks a little bit more orangey on the camera, but it's more of a, the color of a penny, like that coppery color. And I think like just looking at my purses down there, ugh, I think they're gonna be so so cute, so so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm very very happy with them. Happy they're shorter. Happy they're no longer hurting. Happy I don't look crazy anymore. <laughs> I am getting ready to package my little thank you bags for my friends. Um, I have these hangover treats. It comes with like Tic Tacs, um, Advil, a little thing of gum, vitamin C pack, um, makeup wipes. Yep. Cute little treats um, for the next day. Um, I have these cute little Beyond Grateful just to let them know how much I appreciate them coming on this little weekend getaway. Um, it's a lip mask, under eye mask, a perfume automizer. So uh, this year I really wanted to get them stuff that they could reuse. And I thought these were dope. So when they travel, they can use those. Um, I really thought it was cute, you know. The girls love stuff that is aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so when you're doing your face mask, you want to get your hands, your nails dirty, you can just use that. Of course, we have to have a little bit of liquor, okay? We're about to have a little party, you know what I'm saying? Um, and these, I've given them these before. They have like so many cute ones on Amazon. But I really wanted them to have the wrist cut, wrist cuffs excuse me that go with them and this is to prevent that goes around your wrist to prevent you know when you're washing your face and doing your skincare routine the water just be dripping so that's that and then this year um i wanted to, instead of giving them gift bags i wanted to give them something they could reuse i mean you could use this as a toiletry bag you can use this as a packing cube to separate your stuff um beach day pool day you know you can reuse it for multiple things. They have some pretty ugly colors on Amazon. Not to hold you. Like the pink was just not. It wasn't cute. And you know again. Aesthetically pleasing. It's black. It'll go with a lot. So I'm getting ready to package these up. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for watching, supporting, subscribing. All the days, girl. Uh, I can't believe I'm about to be 31. Like, I was just starting to get comfortable with saying 30. Now it's like, bro, you really in your 30s. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy, baby. But you know what? I'm alive and I'm here. So, and healthy. So I'm very grateful for that. So next time y'all see me, I'll be heading outside. I'm going to a concert. And then um, I'm heading to New York for my birthday. So I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye. Oh.